In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a proposed terrain model from the corridor top mesh. In this design file, I have this corridor here. And we can see that the feature definition is set to design. If I pull up the Explorer, I want to, ex I want to see what the feature definition properties are. So I'll drill down under the feature definitions corridor design and right click on it to select the properties. Once you do that, you'll notice under the display settings, the top mesh is set to display false. I want to set this to true. Once I've done that, I'll reprocess the corridor and it should display the top mesh. As you can see here in the dynamic cross section, uh, this blue layer is the actual mesh. You can also see it in the 3D, um, the 3D model. So this is the component that we want to use to create the, um, the terrain width. So I already created a 3D file. Now I'll open that file and we will uh, create the terrain in that file. So I'll simply attach the 3D model of the corridor file. Select the 3D model here and reference that in. We can see here that all the features are showing. Uh, just for simplicity, I only want to show the mesh level. And from here, I'll just go to Terrain, Create Terrain from Elements. I'll set this as break lines. And let's use proposed triangles as our feature definition. That'll be fine. Then I'm located, then I'm prompted to locate the element. So I'll pick the mesh element and data point to accept. And we can see the triangles are created there. At this point, just for clarity, I can turn off my references. And visually, all that's left is the terrain model. Thank you.